Stuart Burns, and I, I came here 25 years ago, right after college. Thought I'd be here for two or three years and then leave and go somewhere else, and I'm still here. So <coughs> I've never raised kids in this area. They're 15, 12, and 8 now, so uh, be careful what you say you'll never do. Um, so started, uh, I started, like many people on the Hill, in, in an unpaid internship uh, back in the summer of 88. Um, and uh, an older man who had been on the Hill for about 20-something years decided to take me under his wing and, and give me a place to, to hang out. Um, unpaid internship, did that for two months. And uh, over the course of that time, he helped send my resume out to some places. I ended up getting hired by the Republican Conference. Uh, Congressman Jerry Lewis was the chairman. That was in, in 88. Um, what I worked for there at the conference, on the, and you can find it on the uh, GOP.gov website today is the Legislative Digest, and what that is is a summary of legislation uh, that's there on the floor and um, tracking amendments and and, um, and tracking the legislation, learning to write a summary. How do you take something you know nothing about and summarize it um, and uh, in a very short period of time and in an understandable way? That was a great learning experience for me. Um, I reflect on the, the time there. It was, it, we were working about 70 hours a week and I was making the salary of 14500 a year. So um, it, was, um, it wasn't for the money, uh, obviously, or for the, uh, the time off. But it was a great learning experience. I ended up staying there all, uh, nearly four years before I went down, had an opportunity to get out of the Bush administration back in 92. Uh, in um, the other thing is uh, when you when I started on the hill, I'm gonna. This is only gonna be a hill perspective, so um, that's that's what I know. <laughs> um, and I've I've tried to take some of those lessons that I learned early on, and um, we bring people in our office. I like to give people a, a chance to hang their hat in the office. We get some work out of them, and they get some experience, and um, and hopefully they they get a job uh, down the line as well, either in our office or that's really where you hear about. Uh, other staff, other open, openings on the Hill is uh, to be in a Hill office. Uh, that's the easiest place really to move from one to another. Issues, I thought, wow, I'd, I'd really like, I remember ask, being asked, what do you, what do you want to work on? What issues? That's oh, foreign policy and defense issues and um, yeah, I don't remember what else I named at the time, but they said, well, that's not what you get to work on. You get to work on science. You get to work on natural resources, small business, education, a um, couple other issues. Um, and I said, okay, well, I'll, that's what I'll do. And over time, I'll move to the other issues I really want. Well, I, I found I, I really enjoyed those issues, particularly the science issues. Um, didn't know where that would lead at the time. It led me later to work for a member from California who had one of the Department of Energy labs in his district, uh, Livermore Laboratory. I got to work on uh, issues related to uh, Lawrence Livermore Lab, the defense programs, the energy programs. Then when, um, in 95, uh, Congressman Dave Weldon of Florida came in, he wanted some people who had been on the Hill for a while, I had about six years of experience at the time. He wanted somebody with some experience on the Science Committee. And um, uh, space issues in particular were important to the Space Coast area of Florida. Kennedy Space Center was in the district. So I ended up working for him for 14 years. Um, let me tell you a little bit, um, some of the perspective from a personal office. I've always worked in a personal office, uh, never worked on the committee. I guess I did the first four years was sort of a leadership office, so that's a little different experience. Um, but here's some perspectives to think about, and uh, I don't know where you all are in your careers, but um, the important thing for me really is work ethic, uh, recognizing, particularly as you're starting out, and it never really gets any better. Uh, the hours are long and they're demanding. It's not a it's not a nine to five job. Um, so if that's where you're if that's what you're interested in, then uh, the hill's probably not the, the best place for you to do that. You need to learn to be a quick study on issues. How do you take an issue that's complex, understand the uh, the key points of it, and condense that down quickly? Um, challenges and frustrations. Biggest challenge that I that I face, the biggest frustration, well, it's not so much a frustration because I realize it's the reality of it, is you'll never have enough time to dig as deep on an issue as you'd like to dig. Um, you are, um, 
you'll, you'll learn to, um, you'll learn about this much information on this many issues as opposed to this much on this uh, many issues. It's fast paced. I love that. I love jumping from issue to issue. Um, you uh, learn to jump from one thing to the other all day long, and, and I, I actually kind of enjoy the, the chaos of that. Um, organization is something I look for in people because as you're jumping from issue to issue, you've got to make sure you don't let things drop through the cracks. You've got to have a, a um, practice and a process to make sure that doesn't happen. Um, I learned early on that, uh, well, actually I was told that um, you, you, your mind is not as, uh, you won't remember as much as you think you will. You better write it down. So um, somebody helped me learn that experience early on. Um, I think I come with the, uh, you need to come at it of, uh, from the perspective of this is a, a learning experience, a learning opportunity. Um, you'll look at the, I look back over the first few years, those issues that I really didn't think I had much interest in, those are the things I've grown to love and enjoy. I think that another key thing is to look at um, working on, on Capitol Hill as public service. It's, uh, you're there to serve the public. You're there to work through what, what issues they're facing, whether it's a business back in your district or a constituent with a problem with a particular agency, to look at different ways to, uh, to solve those problems. And, um, but really come at it from that perspective because that's why your boss is there and that's why you're there, to serve your boss and to serve the people he represents. It's also important to know what you believe and why you believe it. Um, I remember I had a, someone interviewing for a, um, a job, well, it was an internship, it was about a year ago, and uh, he came in and he had a recent law school grad, and uh, he said that basically the, what he really brought to the table is he could argue both sides of an issue very well. And he didn't really have any firm beliefs, but he thought that was um, something that would be great for the office to have. Um, and, and maybe for maybe for some members that might be good, but a lot of times the members who are there know what they believe and why they believe it. And uh, a lot of times you, you really want people on staff who you don't have to sit there and explain, I believe this way and here's why I believe it. Because a lot of times you're carrying out what, what your boss uh, wants you to do. So you don't want to have to try to figure out why he believes that way. Certainly you're not going to believe I agree with your boss on every issue. Um, my boss, is he, he often says that he and his wife don't agree on everything. <laughs> but uh, they generally agree on most. So, uh, And that's what I look for in, in staff for the office, is uh, I look for people who, who know what they believe and why they believe it. Uh, part of that is getting a good reading list together. Um, I, I read from a, a wide... Uh, range of, of publications, and um, but to have some 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 key publications you read on a regular basis and follow those is, is very important. Uh, particularly as you're interviewing to to know kind of what are the hot issues, and uh, know the know the know those a little more in depth is important. Um, I think also a key thing is recognizing that the member of the Congress the member of Congress is the member of Congress. It's uh, he or she that you're working for that has to live with the votes and the decisions, and you need to support them in that. Um, the other thing I would say is that a resume is important. It may get you in the door, but it won't necessarily get you the job that you're looking for. Um, I think most offices on the Hill are looking for people who are hard workers, they're honest, they're committed to funda fundamental principles that the office is advocating for. And uh, on that last issue, the last thing I would touch on is just honesty um, and being uh, forthright. Always be forthright with your, with your office. If you make a mistake, tell them, hey, I screwed up on this. And, uh, and um, they'll uh, respect you for that. And um, uh, if you're if you're not, particularly with other offices, that's one of the things I found that's very important is um, 
always having that honesty with other offices because uh, if you mislead them one time, they'll never trust you again. And uh, I have a list of those offices that I don't trust until I verify. So.